Today I'm gonna make some improvisational scene like these boots and I have some couple of buildings it's like traditional buildings and let's see what can I do with them okay I just need to find some good composition so I'm trying these boots uh, in different kind of ways and I think I can make these boots like hills or mountains and I extended it like this after that I I decided to place all buildings I mean I, I like to limit myself with a couple of items uh, it's more easier to uh, focus on the scene like this these buildings are looking so poor or uh, something like that and I decided to make it like a poor town and maybe a little bit crowded overcrowded I mean so I can place them onto these boots like this and after that I can connect all buildings between each other with some wooden bridges some stone stairs something like that As you realize, I didn't look at a uh, rendered view at all. Did you realize that? Because it's gonna cause that uh, distraction and you don't wanna lose your focus on the composition. That's all I do now. I'm just making some good composition. Now I need a good looking bridge for connection between the houses. I checked some couple of things and I found this ship and I decided to use it immediately because it's looking so cool. Now I'm connecting all buildings and all sections. Actually, I wasn't planning to make it this kind of scene at the beginning. I just took the boots and I took these two buildings and look where we are. And that's what I like on this job. I wanted to try these boots around and fly in like small planets uh, made of boots. <laughs> it's a, a crazy idea, but it didn't work actually. I, I tried and I did my best, but I didn't like them at all. Look at this. I realized that uh, the boots have different kind of materials and I realized uh, the light is not working correctly when I add it to the scene so I deleted all the materials from the boots and I just added reflective material and that's all now I'm making uh, I'm adding some couple of uh, point light because you know I'm I'm kind of lazy okay and i i it's it's not a shame for me and i just uh try to use same point light but it's like a cozy ambient 
you know it's a night time and they are doing something inside their houses and something is happening in this town that's all uh, I focused so I'm adding a couple of lights inside of the houses but it inspired me on different way when I look back from this angle look at this it's, it's kind of complex and mysterious town maybe you know I can place some uh, people around maybe some uh, bad people on the roof and maybe they can hide uh, from someone else you know you know what I mean I just wanted to make all buildings uh, different looking. I just realized that some buildings have flying and dead end stairs like this. You know, I decided to delete all of them on Photoshop because, you know, time is money and it's gonna take a lot of my time if I fix them on this scene because it's a poly heavy scene and I feel like it's lagging sometimes. It's getting harder to jump between the uh, solid view and render view. I, I realized that and I just kept it uh, simple uh, so. I would like to add lots of different things and tons of people but I, I realized that uh, it's not gonna be good if I push the limit of Blender <laughs> on this case uh, so I kept it for Photoshop. Another important point is I didn't want to use so powerful lights like as you can see all of point lights are something like cozy lights and none of them are drawing attention on themselves. And after that, I'm gonna add the fog and volume scatter. That's that's my signature. <laughs> it's kind of my signature. I love it. You know, it's it's changing the scene so powerful way, and it it makes a difference like this. You know. everyone is living in their houses right so i'm adding the point light in those uh, shadow houses and it's gonna fix my problem behind the walls and maybe under the ceilings under the roofs and you know i i hid all of the point lights somewhere else it it's it's gonna help me to achieve these uh this result 
since it's at night time i just need to add some blue color tones like this so i can make it with volume scatter uh, i just need to change the color and it's gonna give me the cool uh, nighttime blue tones like this And now it's good to render. I made some couple of less settings like make samples like this and resolution. It's good to go. Let's go to Photoshop, okay? First things first is making some adjustments with camera roll filter. Now I'm making some color adjustments to make it uh, more impressive, attractive, you know, you name it. Okay, now the fun part is beginning. I like this part because I'm using generative fill to fill <laughs> literally the town with the people and some structures, some, you know, uh, stairs, uh, pipes, something like that. Generative fill can understand basic shapes and it can easily make uh, some uh, correct shapes and images like this. But if you give him or give her, <laughs> you can call, call it as him or her, I don't care. Uh, if you give him uh, some, something like plain color, uh, simple flat color, it can understand it. And I just realized it. if I put some basic shapes even even you can put uh, basic shapes or some uh, mankins uh, for your uh, character places it doesn't matter and i think uh, generative field can understand the basic shapes and calculate uh, better results so that's my lesson for <laughs> this project
I wanted to add some bushes and rocks and stones on the boots because they were looking so boring but the AI uh, couldn't understand me and <laughs> couldn't add some couple of simple just simple uh, bushes and that would be enough for me but it didn't understand me at all and I gave up <laughs> so be it <laughs> Oh, we have a couple on the roof. <laughs> Did you like them? And then we have a cat. Look at this beautiful town. There are lights everywhere. There are cozy lights on windows, neon lights, restaurants. It's Japanese. <laughs> it's my favorite style. Yeah, I like it. That is what I was trying to tell you before. If you have clear image uh, for AI it can easily generate it uh, almost perfectly but if you have a simple flat color it can understand it naturally you know it just needs to uh, make some calculations and if you don't give AI a clear image and it can't give you anything And we have some tourists uh, on the bridges. They are walking around the town and they discover the houses, restaurants. Uh, yeah, it's a so uh, valuable place. <laughs> yeah, if you believe me, yeah, it's a perfect place to visit. This is a good example for the problem. It can't understand the uh, prompt exactly. So I am drawing uh, exactly pipe shape like this. And finally I can achieve a real pipe. For example, uh, I'm drawing some pipes uh, here as well. And it can understand it. And we have pipes there. Thank you AI. We have some cool looking restaurants which I would like to go and eat there. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And we have uh, small houses for citizens of the town. I like, I like it so much.
as you can see i didn't give up on uh, the boots but whatever i try ai couldn't understand it so <laughs> i gave up one more time <laughs> Look at this. There are lots of things happening on this town. People everywhere. That's my favorite person. <laughs> he is so huge and he can barely sit inside of the house. We can have elevators wherever we want. I need to fix lots of stairs like this because it's too dangerous in this way. <laughs> you need to connect them somewhere else, uh, somewhere safe. <laughs> so lots of uh, small and boring stuff to fix you can't escape from it Look at that woman. Hey, what are you doing there? It's so dangerous. Don't stay there. <laughs> I think uh, I'm gonna make more complex and crowded scene next time. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I believe that you're gonna count uh, thousands of 3D characters maybe and lots of actual neon lights, uh, stairs <laughs> or other things. It's gonna, uh, where is Valdo? Okay. <laughs> And it was too boring to have same uh, wooden bridge so I decided to change couple of them like metal bridges and it's gonna help me to make it uh, more uh, unique uh, bridges 
it's too important because it's gonna cause that uh, to make your scene so boring with uh, using same buildings with using same pipes or other things so keep that in your mind always try to have some variations on your object I knew that there's a uh, some kind of artifact uh, from the blender render uh, there were some noises around and I was planning to fix it at the end of the uh, the project so I am adding blurs and I'm adding some couple of uh, masking something like this and it's too easy to fix it but it's so annoying that uh, I'm having this kind of artifacts from render so I will check it out uh, probably it happened because I kept uh, resolutions and max samples uh, lower so I think it's not gonna happen next time if I keep uh, all settings high and it's gonna make me wait a little bit more but it doesn't important because it's so annoying to have that kind of artifacts and noises i hate noises and grains all on my projects <laughs> that's kind of my uh, the best uh, powerful villain of my uh, design career <laughs> And I generated a smoke and fog, uh, something like this uh, image with Mid Journey, and I'm adding it to my scene. But it's some kind of tricky because you need to make it realistic, and sometimes it's a little bit harder to uh, achieve that realism. So I tried different options on blending uh, versions and i found the these settings a little bit uh, interesting but you can use hard light color dodge uh, you know it depends on your situation uh, you can choose your best uh, settings Okay, so far so good. I'm happy with the result. Now I'm just making a couple of last touches and I wanted to pop up the that teal light neon and maybe it's it's kind of focus point on my scene and it's too easy to make it happen with blending options and I used hard light. little bit confusing for viewers I guess that and I got rid of it
So, I hope you like it. What do you think? If you watched all, thank you so much, man. You're my best viewer. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha